Hi guys. I, oh wow, man, I've got to show you this. And thank you to the subscriber, to my subscriber who sent me these articles. I was asking about the Alberta wildfires. What's going on? I said, you know, I put a search in Google just to see what Google was, you know, putting on their first page in terms of the wildfires, and it was all California and, and this Tonto National Forest fire in Arizona. I said, nothing came up about Alberta. Please, if anybody knows anything, send me some links. Fire and ice. Evacuation orders lifted as snowfall hits Alberta. Snowfall. Alerts for the town of Slave Lake and several other communities in the area were removed Friday morning because of snow. Uh... <laughs> Rain in the last 48 hours had helped ease the hazard at the south end of the McMillan fire, which was burning about 32 kilometers northeast of Slave Lake. Well, you got quite a bit of snow in Alberta. Hmm. If you woke up in Alberta this morning, you might be mistaken for thinking it's December or January, or at least still wintertime, as the rest of the country is starting to warm up. And Canadians are digging out their sunscreen. Don't put sunscreen on you. It's so toxic. And their sunglasses and summer shorts. It seems somebody has forgotten to tell Alberta about the change of season since there is snow in Alberta. Summer snow. That's right. While other parts of the country are experiencing extreme heat warnings. Oh, it's snowing in Alberta. Well, Alberta. Last video that I posted on the wildfire, reading that article, well, it was hot and dry conditions, and you had all of those, you know, factors coalescing to bring about a huge wildfire, and now you have snow. You had high, yeah, you had summer temperatures, but now you have snow. So, no one forgot to tell Alberta that it's summertime or late springtime. No one forgot. Somebody switched the weather on you. That's what happened. Snow. If this doesn't beg questions, I don't know. I don't know what has happened to people's brains. So, I'll also link below to National Weather Service, yes, yeah, government sites, but this is where they collect their data from. And uh, National Weather Service, well, you can't, you can't expect to get a warning from them because this is how they define their flash flood warning. Take action. A flash flood warning is issued when a flash flood is imminent or, or uh, already happening. What? So, the National Weather Service, they can't predict flash flood, flash floods, uh, if they're going to be giving you a warning as it's occurring. A flash flood is a sudden violent flood that can take from minutes to hours to develop. It is even possible to experience a flash flood in areas uh, not immediately receiving rain. I'm going to show you how that can happen with video that I took of our thunderstorm here in Anderson, South Carolina. And I took this video, oh, a short while ago. So I would bookmark these sites, warnings by state, excessive rainfall, a winter weather forecast, national river flooding. Yeah, you can check out which rivers are flooding, major flooding moderate flooding, minor flooding, all over central U.S. And then you got, you've got major flooding, the Atlantic coast at Hampton, New Hampshire, and the Susquehanna, Susquehanna River at Sydney, New York, and moderate Missouri River near Williston, North Dakota, but Devil's Lake, Stump Lake, 
uh, North Dakota near the Lakota. Ugh, God, that's major flooding. And a whole lot of flooding all over. Rio Grande, Colorado, North Platte River, um, Nebraska. And the Nuez, Nuez River near Asherton, Texas. A whole lot of flooding down here. So a little bit more rain, more homes gone more farms gone. Flooding possible in parts of South Carolina Saturday. Flood, uh, flash flood watch issued for Greenville. And guess what? This forecast was up for thunderstorms has been pushed out to 2 p.m. Saturday. Okay, so our thunderstorm came just about 2. Um, the flash flood watch for Greenville County and Anderson County, other parts of upstate South Carolina, northeast Georgia, and portions of North Carolina until 9 p.m. Sunday? Wait a second, thunderstorms would come and they would be gone 15 minutes later. Wow! And it was so, I loved them. I loved thunderstorms. You'd watch those incredibly like black clouds, they were just rolling in and then it would just be that rain that would unleash clearing the air the humidity gone and when that thunderstorm was over my god the sky was so brilliantly dark blue the air was crisp and clean all of that is gone. Gone. And I don't believe that will ever be experienced again. That's really sad. Now, thunderstorms? <laughs> um, it doesn't wash away the humidity, though I have to say it's cooler here and it just stopped raining. It's 3.55 p.m. on the East Coast. So, the air also smells dirty, really dirty, but you never see that blue sky. In fact, it's white. It's white. Um, but a flash flood warning till 9 p.m. Sunday. Ah, interesting. So, it's, so we're just going to get thunderstorm after thunderstorm to create these flash floods? Uh, oh wait, the flash flood, it can be in areas where you have no rain. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, here's South Carolina, Northeast Georgia, North Carolina. And we've got this going until 9 p.m. Sunday. Interesting that they know that it's going to be sitting there till 9 p.m. Sunday. That's bizarre. whole lot is bizarre. Like this jet stream that is now, well, I'd like to think that these storms up here or this precipitation is actually coming from the Atlantic, but this is being evaporated right here. And then you have that nice defined line uh, at the top of this precipitation out here on the Atlantic, but well, it's going west. It's going west. And of course, we have a lot of land okanes today. Yes. Where, well, these storms just circle around. Well, but then you can see that frequency right here. Um, let me blow this up a little for you so you can see what's happening. Okay. You have blips of severe weather happening. Uh, Oh, well, that's why they can't give you a flash flood warning, because they erupt now. They just erupt, right? You can see the frequencies right here shooting off, but this, what is this doing? It seems to be, hmm. all right, well, 
I don't know which way this is going. It's this is heading up northeast um, and hitting right here, North Carolina. All right, this I guess is coming in from the Atlantic. This is going. Well, it's not even attached to this storm weather front, but it's little blips, little blips created. And these blips, well, Kentucky, and it's kind of, well, I don't know, going down. So it's going north, east. But northwest, um, then south, and then back east. And these blips here don't seem to be connected to any weather front. They're just boom, erupting. Erupting. All right. I want to show you right here very bizarre what's happening. It looks like this precipitation is just being stretched through West Virginia on up to Ohio. But you can see that there is a frequency keeping separating these weather, this weather firm right here in West Virginia. Yeah, our radar now is showing us very bizarre weather patterns. So I took this earlier, and what uh, I don't know what time it was. Um, but why did I go out? Because I suddenly heard wind. It was immediate, and it whipped up, and I was like, oh, great. Okay, so this is what. I'll let you listen to it for a few minutes. By the way, no rain, but these apparently are our thunder storm clouds. Any adult who is over the age of 30, maybe 35, should recognize that these are not our natural thunderstorm clouds. Um, and it's plain to see that something has happened to our thunderstorm clouds. Do you see them moving? They're moving a little. The wind came up immediately. The wind came up immediately. I'm showing you this limb that had fallen from the tree about three days ago. Uh, the trees here are so sick and diseased. And I can't, the, the thick limb is beyond where I could show you. But I'm sitting, all of a sudden I hear this huge crack and no rain, no wind, it just fell off the tree. Interesting that <laughs> I showed a neighbor this morning how it just fell off the tree. And what did she say? She said, oh, maybe that's a particular type of tree that sheds its limbs. I said, no, it's dying. It gets very frustrating because that same neighbor, I have said, the trees are dying, the trees are dying, the trees are dying, showed her the fungal disease. Oh, maybe that's a tree that sheds its limbs. Okay. These are our thunderstorm clouds, but no rain. So thunderstorm clouds, when they finally rolled in, there was rain. They roll in, no rain. No rain. But these are moving very slowly while 
storms just uh, to the left of me, jokers to the right, and here I am, are moving very quickly, faster, but we had roads of thick cloud. Oh, what's that moving really fast? But and this moving really fast, but that cloud's moving not so fast. Um, right above me, which I'll show you in one second, you will see there's one layer of cloud that's moving fast above another layer of cloud that doesn't seem to be moving at all. Right here. Okay, but it why is it moving in this direction when the other clouds are moving in another direction? You see, these are moving fast, but above them, they seem to be uh, just hanging out. But these If you're looking, if you observe the sky, you will see such amazing things. None of it natural. So, these are our thunder clouds. Now, what I believe they're doing is loading clouds with a lot of water vapor, a lot of moisture, and then zapping them with frequencies that suddenly the rain comes down but what's happening in the in the sky completely smooth completely smooth the smooth brings on the rain not the cloud so they zap these with frequencies the clouds that they load with moisture the frequency just kind of <laughs> evaporates, just blows apart the cloud. This is the cloud now that you saw. The rain coming down. Oh yeah, they can create flash floods in minutes with the technology that they are using. This rain came down hard. and the sky was completely smooth. This is what I have observed for the last couple of years with the thunderstorms in particular. It's not the cloud, it's the zapping with electromagnetic frequencies that is bringing about this rain. So this I took um, after that last smooth sky that I showed you and it's just been drizzling now, but the sky, well, <laughs> these guys love to just sit out when it's raining. Um, so it still, no, I think the rain now has stopped. Um, the sky is white and nothing is as it used to be. But yeah, it's the frequencies and uh, smoothing out those clouds that bring about the massive downfalls. I've seen this in other, uh, in other um, what happened to, why isn't my video playing now? Okay, that's weird. Now the video is gone. Very strange. Okay, now it's back. So yeah. No more clouds. Just this huge downpour. Look, we heard Michu Cuckoo. 
with Nora. Was that CBS? And he explaining, you can hit a cloud with a laser and wow, it will rain. That's what's going on. That's just one method that they are creating all of this rain. So guys, you really do need to be very careful and pay attention to what is happening with these fires and the floods. So do bookmark these sites and um, you can't be guaranteed that the National Weather Service will give you that flash flood warning because hey, it doesn't even have to be raining. Um, it's a very look, it's a very dangerous time that we are living and you do need to be prepared for anything. Anything. Wish I wasn't living it. I know that you guys wish you weren't living it, but this is what we got. All links are below.